So what would you do if you found out that your biological parent was like someone uber famous? We've got a few instances that are kind of fun. So I'm going to talk, start first, number one, with uh, Rod Stewart. He's one of my favorites. Um, we all know him. He's the British singer, music icon with that raspy voice and the big charisma. Well, he gave up a child for adoption in 1963 when he was just 18 years old. And he wasn't famous at all at that time. His girlfriend's name was Susanna, and she became pregnant. And he was really a struggling musician at that time, very far from the star he is today. He was they were definitely not prepared to raise a child, so they decided to place their daughter up for adoption, believing she had the best chance for her future. The daughter's name was Sarah Streeter, and she was adopted by a loving family, and she grew up outside of the glare of her, of her biological father's rising superstardom. Uh, for many years, he kept this part of his life very private, though he reportedly thought about Sarah often, and as his career flourished, uh, the decision to give her up remained a uh, a memory for him and years later in the early 2000s Sarah and Rod did reconnect by then she was an adult and their reunion allowed them to build a relationship that had been missing for decades he's spoken out candidly about his regrets over the decision and the gratitude for the chance to reconnect so yeah that would be crazy for me because I just love Rod Stewart okay the next one is uh Jack Wagner for all you moms about my age who were obsessed with General Hospital back in the day he was also in Melrose Place, and for all of you younger people, he was in uh, season 14, I believe, of Dancing with the Stars, way back in 2012, but I think there might be re replays of that. Um, he got a phone call way back in 1988 from a woman who he had a one-night stand with, and she told him she was pregnant and that he was giving the baby, she was giving the baby up for adoption, excuse me. Jack Wagner, he at the time tried to get involved, but there was really nothing he could do. The mom had decided and, you know, that was it. Fast forward 23 years, Jack was uh, playing in a concert and all of a sudden this girl rushed into the dressing room being like, you're my dad, you're my dad, hugging him. I don't know how she got by security, but, you know, that's what uh, says uh, in the tabloids that happened. Uh, and actually he's done some uh, reports about that too. But he, you know, was surprised, but not totally surprised, and they did DNA tests and everything, and yep, he was the daddy. Right now, currently, he they have a reportedly a very good ongoing relationship, and they've gone on trips together, that he talks about her on social media and stuff. So for all of you, you know, 56-year-old moms, uh, our little crush from back then. The uh, next one is uh, a singer-songwriter, Ted Nugent. He's you known right now, especially for his political activism uh, and his uh, musician. He's a rock musician. He's very, very conservative. So he's been in the news in the last couple of years. Here's a fun fact. When I was a teenager, my sister and I spent the day hanging out at the pool of a hotel where we were staying. We were like living at this hotel while our house was being built. We hung out with this guy. We shared drinks with him. He was buying us like pictures of iced tea. And, uh, you know, he was a normal guy, but it was kind of strange. He was wearing jeans, which was a little bit weird. But uh, we had no idea who he was. He was just nice. Then all of a sudden, all these women started screaming and yelling and running into the pool. We had no idea that it was actually Ted Nugent. So that's my little fun fact. <laughs> well, his daughter, uh, her name is Louisa Savaris. And she was reportedly put up for adoption by his girlfriend without his knowledge way back in the 1970s. She actually hired a genealogist to find her biological dad. And then in 2007, she figured out who it was and reached out to him and her biological mother as well. Uh, they have since reunited and um, he actually is the father of like nine kids. But she's said in uh, interviews recently, it's been awesome. He's such a sweet man. He's not what people think he is when he's not screaming about politics. So that'd be crazy. Another one to find out you're uh, famous. Here's a little twist on one. So this is Liv Tyler. Uh, many of you guys should know about Liv Tyler. She was in movies like the Armageddon and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Well, she was born in 1977 to a model named Bibi Buell. And B.B. Buell at the time was living with who her boyfriend was Todd Rundgren and the musician. So, you know, Liv was growing up kind of in a famous family anyway, you know, with this rock star as a dad. But then when she was eight years old, she began to suspect that 
something was a little bit different. She had a really close re- relationship with Todd, but she noticed that she was really resembled Steven Tyler. So you guys all know what Steven Tyler looks like. I mean, Liv Tyler, Steven Tyler, they could be twins. He has other daughters, too. They all look alike. He has some strong genes. And I've actually heard rumors that, like, they share, actually, genes, like, denim genes, like, that. I don't know. I, it was just a rumor I heard. So, so her mom kept the identity of her biological father secret. But then in the late 80s, when she figured it all out, she did learn the truth when she was, I think, 11 years old. But ever since then, um, her and Steven, and we all know who Steven Tyler is, right? You know, Aerosmith. He's been around for like 100 years. No, probably more like 50, which is kind of scary, huh? They're super close. She's really close with his other daughters, and she has a son as well. They are on each other's social media. He talks about her kids. It's it's like a great relationship. But I th- what I think really is neat is that she's still in social media. She actually still calls Todd dad and spends time with him too. So I thought that was a really, you know, really nice little twist there. Another one is, if you guys remember Gavin Rossdale, he's the um, front man of the band Bush, but some people might know him more famously as the ex of Gwen Stefani. Well, he made headlines back in 2016 when it was revealed that he was the biological father of Daisy Lowe, who he had not publicly acknowledged before. You know, there was rumors like it was his goddaughter, that kind of stuff. Um, She grew up with her mother. Her mother's name is Pearl Lowe. And Daisy had always thought that her dad was Pearl's partner, a, a British musician and producer called Bronner Lowe. But when she was in her late teens, she did find out that Gavin Rostow was her biological father. And, you know, she had actually known him, so it was a little bit crazy. It was a big strain on his him and Gwen's relationship, reportedly. You know, I'm not a, a reporter, but you, you hear that a lot. So, you know, they just said that Gavin and Pearl had a brief affair and then Daisy was born. Um, they really never talked about it until she was an adult. But... And Gavin went on to have three sons with Gwen. You, you do see pictures of him with with his daughter and the boys, too. So that would be another another hard one, kind of like with Liv Tyler, like thinking one person's your dad and not. And I'm, that happens every day we deal with that here at DNA Angels. It's just when someone's super famous, there's all that twist. And then you have the public on top of it then. Here's another one for all of uh all of you country music fans, and I'm from North Carolina, so everyone here is. Well, Tim McGraw, Tim McGraw, singer and actor, we all know him, you know, we all know his songs, and we do know, you know, the blind side, he's married to the gorgeous Faith Hill. Uh, he was born in 1967 to Betty D'Agostino, and she raised him as a single mom. He thought that his dad was a man named Frank, who Betty had been involved with, but she didn't really have any involvement with Frank at all. Although when he turned 18, uh, Betty did tell him the truth. He told him that Tug McGraw, the famous Phillies pitcher, he also, I think, played for the Mets, was his biological father. Now, that would be crazy for a teenage boy. You know, Tug McGraw was pretty famous, especially back in the day. And knowing, figuring out that was your dad would be crazy. Uh, Tug and Tim actually did get together. They reconciled. It obviously... Tim uses his biological father's last name. Unfortunately, Tug McGraw died. Uh, I believe it was about 2004. So they didn't have a ton of time together. But you know, they they did get to, to get pretty close. But I, I find this story fascinating because, like, Tug McGraw's top of the line baseball player. And then here we are, Tim, top of the line singer, good actor also. So... Uh, you know, that's kind of an interesting thing. And I would think if you're a <laughs> a kid realizing, especially you like sports, you realize that, oh my gosh, I, I'm a kid of this famous uh, baseball player. I have just one more for you. And this was kind of like been all over the tabloids back in the day. Remember Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Australia, Conan the Barbarian, famously married to a Kennedy, uh, Maria Schreiner, and... So he was married to Maria, and back in 2011, just after he was done being the governor, it was revealed that he was the dad of the housekeeper Mildred's son. Uh, the boy, he was born in 1997, the same year that he, his youngest son with Maria was born, and they all kept it a secret. But it was, you know, said that he 
did support him financially. But after Maria and Arnold separated in 2011, the truth came out. And Arnold publicly admitted to fathering the child. But by then, it was like hard to deny. He's a spitting image of himself. And it's kind of interesting, too, because Joseph, the son, he has actually gone into his dad's footprints with as far as uh, fitness and bodybuilding, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. And you do see... Arnold, you know, wishing him son a happy birthday here or there. I haven't really seen anything with the other other kids of Arnold's and Maria's kids, you know, with him at all. That's to be interesting. So that's it. That's it today. Do you guys have any other stories of any other cool things? Someone finding out that someone, their bio parent was like uber famous like this. Uh, so let us know. Drop it in the down there below. That's it. Have a good day. Like and share.